and welcome back to a wonderful episode of Behind the Mask. I'm your host, as always, Eugene, along with my beautiful co-host right there. Look at that shiny head. Uh, Dennis, no. how are you doing? Doing good, doing good. Sorry about last <laughs> week, everybody. and we, uh, we both run into some snags. I know you can't really see it on the camera here, but I actually had to go to the ER because one of my patients decided to attack me. So. Yeah, Dennis, fun. Fun. Dennis is trying to get all scarred up to try to look sexy, but Dennis, this is what I think you are. You are, hold on, wait for it, wait for it. I'm going to play this for you. Wait. Dennis, you are my hero. Thank you. I just, I just wanted to play that for you because you know you took, you took a beating last week. I did. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> so, guys, we were not on last week due to the fact that Dennis did get his face chopped up, and then I was doing some wonderful training which I absolutely hate it for a whole week and got home yesterday. And here we are. So despite us being gone for a little bit, Hey, we're back. And, uh, we've actually got some really special guests on tonight, which normally we would say for like towards the back end of the show. But today we're going to get them on quicker because they got to go to bed soon. And we don't want any, uh, <laughs> We don't want anybody mad at us because we kept them up forever. So, right. really quick, as always, I don't have one to drink right now due to the fact that I drank it earlier when I needed it to boost my energy. We are going to talk about, hey, why not talk about Ghost? Ben, let's bring in this can. Even though it's been drunk before, there it is. This there is one is. of Dennis's favorite, favorite well, flavors. The, the green apple has taken over with my top. I finally oh. tried to get it. You've had it. Oh, my God. It's amazing, isn't it? So, guys, this is okay. Ghost Energy Drink. Uh, you, this has the legendary energy, the epic focus, the no, the zero sugar, and no artificial colors. They've got a ton of caffeine, but it's all natural. You guys get a chance. Check them out. Go to their website, uh, Ghost Energy, Ghost Lifestyle, Ghost Gamer. All at dot com. You can also check them out on Instagram at the same three Ghost Energy, Ghost Lifestyle, Ghost Gamer. They've got a lot of other great supplements. You can find all their stuff over at GNC and now at Target, which I was they're branching out, so I'm really excited for them. But Dennis, I did try the cherry limeade, and I actually have some cherry limeade for you, so I got to get those. Oh, over thank here. you, thank you. I saw you had tried it, and I was. I was extremely jealous. So, and I well, I also got that phase up or the phase pop. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that stuff. Good stuff, man. Both of them amazing. But unfortunately, like I said, I don't have one to open up right now like I normally do, but it's already, it's actually coursing through my system right now. <laughs> so, and also brought to you by Rocat. That's what the. Uh, wonderful stuff that's in front of me right now. What I'm talking into is all brought to you by, which is Rocat. Do they sponsor us? Not yet. Am I trying to get that sponsor? Yes, I am. So we can all have Rocat stuff. Then I can start throwing this stuff out at everybody. You get a Rocat. You get a Rocat. But <laughs> so far, come we come. look under your seats. Yes, look under your seats. And also, I got a new thing, Dennis. I want to start promoting this, which this is actually really cool. Yeah, I, got, I was way yep. ahead of you on that, though. Oh, you already got it? Oh, dude, I had it like two, three months ago. Oh, man. Good stuff. You guys get a chance? Go to Dr. So Squatch. Good. Absolutely. I oh. love Dr. Squatch. And it's, yeah. it's funny you bring it up because I, I was I just started using the, the uh, pine tar today. Yeah. And uh, I, I was going to tell you, we need to start shouting this one out. Yes, yes. So we are starting to shout them out. That's nothing. If you're a man, get some of this stuff. It's great stuff. Works great right. on you. 
So let's see who's on tonight. Lupe! <laughs> Only thing <laughs> under my seat is a sleepy cat. <laughs> Lupe, don't do anything to kill the poor cat either, please. So, all right, so that's it. That's that's Ghost, Row Cat, Dr. Squatch, and what's normally who I talk about? Yeah. So glad you guys are on tonight. Like I said, we've got some special guests on tonight. We are going to bring them on now because we should. Because I'm done blabbing and talking and everything else. And we want to talk to these guys. Again, before it gets too late. Because, And we're going to start off. We're going to give them a nice intro. This is something I was working on today. Let me get this going. Oh, let's bring us down. Because this is our new setup. we got a whole new setup too. So it's going to throw people off. Which is cool. Yeah. But we're going to start with this song. Bring them in. You guys want to know what that song is? And you, yeah, gotta go see a movie. But let's start off with this man right here, which is Jacob and Robbo. What's going on, guys? What's going on? You like this intro? I mean, oh, this I'm is a great song. Sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to welcome Robo and Jacob to start off. They are from, which I probably should stop this song because we may get hit with something. Yeah, we, <laughs> something don't, we don't want a copyright strike too soon. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Welcome yeah. NTX Goonies What's to our up? show. We're starting off with Robo because you are the owner of the team, correct? Yeah, yeah, just uh, started the team this year. We're really excited to get uh, our boys out there at all the Bunker Fest events. So nice. sweet. Yeah. That was the one thing. Besides the fact that I love your jersey, which <laughs> dude, that is a freaking uh, yeah, that is a sick jersey. Yeah, that's that. That was part of what uh, that was part of what what had a, had Eugene reaching out to you guys in the first place. Right away, I was like, oh my god, I want that jersey. I need that jersey. I'm a huge. Huge 80s fan, so let's bring in the rest of the guys. Let's start off with, at the bottom, right here, Blackhawk. What's going on? Going good. Sweet. Good. Bring in Evan. Let's, you know what? I'm gonna, let's, let's give a call out to all you guys. Let's bring them all in. All right. Welcome, guys, to our little show here. And wait. Sorry, Carson. Oh, You're watching the office over there. I don't want to forget about you. There we go. <laughs> and, and you guys got a lot of fans in here. Look at this, man. You got more fans than us. I love, I love the support. That's amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. Normally we get like two viewers. That's Lupe. Lupe, thanks for being here. And our friend Mike. But look at this, man. Whew. Everybody's on. We roll deep, Eugene. Oh, the, you guys definitely do. God, I'm, I'm, I'm jealous. So, all right, guys. So, Robo, you're saying you got this started because you wanted to get your your boys out there to play. Yeah. So, how yeah, long cool. have how long has this team been together? Yeah, the team's only been together about two months. Um, we actually. Oh, really? Yeah, it's uh, it, it started out. Um, so, my son about a year ago, Jacob, randomly told me he wanted to play paintball, and you know that's where I spent a good I don't know ten years or so of my life uh, back in the day before moving to Texas and. Uh, so I'm actually a SoCal boy. Uh, so you oh, know, came nice. from Southern California, okay. played tournaments all over. You know, did photography for years and had a small headband company, Square One. And so that was the uh, genesis. We decided we were going to start a Square One Young Guns team. And after we started getting the kids together, like for some reason out of nowhere, I uh, was listening to some music and I heard a song called Sloth's Revenge that brought me back uh, to. Uh, to the Goonies, and I thought that that was like the sickest kids team name ever. So that's how we came with the North North Texas Goonies. It, it yeah. definitely is. Now, guys, now, guys, have all of you guys watched the Goonies? Because if not, I, I'm gonna have to say you're gonna have to give us your jerseys. Because all right, <laughs> you guys are cool then. Toby, <laughs> just just keep your head down. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Toby, Toby, seriously, you haven't watched the Goonies? You're killing me, bud. You're killing me. We got coaches still on time. There's still time. There's still time. <laughs> All right. So really quick, let's start with – we'll go with Jacob. How long have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing for a year and a half now. Okay. Every, every Blackhawk. Position, 
play on the field. Oh, yeah, there we go. Well, Jacob? Oh, I play a back center. Okay. All right, on to you, Blackhawk. Okay. I've played since, like, the end of last year's summer. And, and where where can they find uh, you on the field? Um, snake. Snake? The, the I was going to say, you look like the snake guy. I was going to say, you look like the snake guy. With that mohawk, man, you better be that little shark going through that snake, man. That's yeah, all they yeah. see, right? <laughs> Got a little Thomas Taylor energy going. I like oh, it. watch out. All right, Evan, what about you? How long have you been playing? I've been playing for probably about a couple of months, maybe two months. Nice. All right, and what position do you play? I play home. All right, and then, uh, oh, shoot. Dennis, <laughs> I lost all the names. There we go. Carson, where do you, how long have you been playing and what position are you at? Uh, I've probably been playing, playing since maybe a little after Christmas. Okay. Okay, dang. And then All right. the D side. Okay, and then... All right, all right. So, you, sorry, man? guys. Yeah, I was going to say, go for it. <laughs> I've been playing for 10 months, okay. and I play home. Home, oh, all right. All right, last but not least, Toby. He's still keeping himself quiet over there. I've been playing for four years, going on five, and I play Dorito or midfield. All right, all right. So we got an insert player. We got some back players. Nice. I like it. Now, like what's, it. what's like, who's the oldest in this group right here? It's Carson. 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 How old are you, Carson? I'm 15. 15. All right, cool. So, what's the average age, Robo? Yeah, we're we have uh, everywhere from eleven through fifteen, um, and the young guns is sixteen and under. So, we're gonna get Carson a fake ID next year, <laughs> <laughs> a little later, change that dob or something. Um, hey. <laughs> a whole other year under his belt. We're we're excited, and uh, again, we yeah, make sure you shave too. <laughs> yeah, that's <Carson>. right. <laughs> Go in there, keep that baby face. Yeah. Well, that's that's crazy. The fact that you guys now how'd you guys do at Bunker Fest? Yeah, it was a, it was a challenging event. Like we went out there, um, you know, ten teams in the division. Um, honestly, in this, uh, honestly, believe you know we um, our our record doesn't show you know what the kids did out there. Um, you know, uh, we actually went two and eight, which is kind of rough. Uh, yeah, the first game we played, uh, when you know, one of our uh, friends, uh, you know, local friends in TKO, the team that won the whole event. Um, and it went down to the final two players, um, which was really okay. cool. Um, then uh, we, I think we won two of the next uh, three games. And so we were two and two. Um, and I got to show you guys a video of this thing. You got Logan Blackhawk there going end to end on the snake and taking out three players but again, the, the challenge with young guns is uh, we're still learning the rules. And uh, Logan ran out um, to shoot the final player, stepped out of bounds behind the, the goal line or whatever you want to call it, where the buzzer is, called for a red flag. And we lost the, that point. And, and that was a lot. You know, it was a lot. I mean, learning opportunity and experience. I mean, we really dominated that game. And to get the whole point flipped over is uh, you sure. know, a, a tough one for the team. But we uh we did really well. I mean, I, I think we we um, we're ready to bring it for event two. Well, that's nice. that's awesome. that's awesome. And and you know, going back to what you had mentioned, Rob, you said that uh, oftentimes the scoreboard doesn't tell the the actual story of how things went on the field. So let's talk a little bit about you know, for as long as the team has been together, um, how frequently do you guys practice and like. How much time did you have to gel prior to the event? Yeah, it was uh, it was interesting because uh, that that's one of the most challenging things. Like I remember when when I used to play, we'd practice you know every weekend. We'd practice sometimes twice a weekend, um, and uh, and I don't know how sustainable that is with uh, you know with youth and with the costs and everything else involved. Um, so sure. we tried to mitigate that or tried to find that balance. And so 
before the event, um, we practiced, I think it was four consecutive weekends. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, we were going kind of every other weekend to get things started. But what we really focused on is making sure that we were doing things outside of the field as well. Like the team needed to be able to get to know each other and to gel. So we'd have, you know, we'd go to uh, some place we have out here in Texas, Strike and Reel. It's a bowling alley, arcade, all that stuff. And we had a family dinner, you know, the team dinner and get to know each other a little bit better that way. So it's, um, you know, it's really important that you take, uh, you know, all of those things to, to help people gel. And I think that it really showed in, you know, our, our pits and how we organize things. Um, you know, it's three men. So we entered one team and we have six players. I'm sorry, seven right. players on the roster uh, or seven players total. So we were only able to roster five. Um, well, the two that we didn't roster were there, in, you know, running pods. They were cleaning people. They were, um, you know, doing all the things that you had to do to keep the team running effectively. So we didn't have a lot of challenges when it came to, you know, our pit management. Um, really just lessons learned um, on the field, which is uh, pretty cool for our first event. That's, That's fantastic. Awesome. You That's know, fantastic. what's awesome What's awesome is hearing that these guys have just, most of them, uh, aside from Toby, everybody else has only been playing like a few months, and you guys have come together to have this team now, which is awesome. So let's go, let's start again. Top of the, or Actually, let's go to the bottom corner. Toby, starting with you, what got you into playing paintball? It was a birthday party. <laughs> that you know what? That's funny that you say that. That's always the answer. It was a birthday party. Oh, that's cool. Right. <laughs> it was Jameson. Fun because huh? I overheated. You what? I overheated. Oh, that's Dennis. You you've you've overheated before. Oh yes. Oh Baker yes. Skill. Remember that? Yeah, I, I, I don't do well on the heat, so yeah. Yeah, we were, uh, we went to, what was it, uh, which event was it? Um, um, this was, so this was early to mid 2000s at the XPSL. I don't know if you remember XPSL. that. Yes. I would have been playing out there with you, Dennis. <laughs> oh, then, would have been playing out there with you back then. Yeah, I yeah. played XPSL. Yeah. That was brutal out there. That uh, yeah. Um, Robert, it was, what were you on? It was Law. XPSL. What um where was that event at though? Oh um Sam Berdu. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it was know. it was probably 103 and they held the event in a parking lot and they just put the turf down over the asphalt. So that was fun. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was definitely hot. Um yeah. the, the so I guess the teams that I played with, shout out to you know Tiki Paintball and um Legion Mob as well as uh Square One Soldiers, which was my uh my my square one team. So we uh, yeah, we did our did our job back in the day. It was fun. Yeah, that it, yeah, it did suck. That event it, sucked it, a lot. Yeah. It did. Dennis literally came off the field, and they had like one of those little kiddie pools, and oh. I'm walking next to him, and all of a sudden I just hear a splash, and he was head first into the pool. I was like, "Holy crap, dude, what happened?" <laughs> uh, yeah, we were still getting to know each other, but that was funny. So, uh, Jameson. How did you get started? Birthday party? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same birthday party? No, different birthday party for okay. sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Carson? Can't hear you, Carson. Um, you, you muted yourself, uh, Carson. Yeah, I did. Um, actually, it wasn't a birthday party. I saw it on YouTube. I just like watching it. And then I was like, you know what, that seems fun. So I asked my parents to take me out. I mean, like, me and my family went out to go do it. Nice. Nice. So, so one of the few times where you could, like, literally shoot your dad and not get in trouble. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> it and overshoot just <laughs> All right. Evan. Um, so my story is actually pretty interesting. So – Mr. Obedia, Jacob, his brother, and I don't remember who else it was, but we they took me out to go play a, a match in the big, big field, and um, I thought it was pretty interesting sport, but on the way back, I didn't know this, but I had COVID, and <laughs> afterwards, I had gotten sick, and then I got them sick. 
<laughs> but I still like the sport, so I thought, yeah, let me join this team. <laughs> All right, cool. COVID brought you in. It's right. done a lot. COVID All right. Yeah. Blackhawk. Dude, that, that is just such an awesome name. I'm just going to tell you that right now. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm digging it. Yeah, so what's your story? So... I started playing paintball on my birthday. Just like wanted to check it out, have fun, invite some friends over. These some of the rounds we did, kid versus parents. Parents would just destroy us. <laughs> we get like one parent out, but then we'd all just get lit up because we all stuck together. Instead of splitting oh. out. And yeah, oh, it was fun. Funny. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like it. Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like it. So, now we're over to Jacob. Jacob, you were basically born into this, weren't you? I was just going to say, Rob Rob was probably looking at Jacob going, man, you better pick up that gun. (laughs) (laughs) So, Uh, so I started off playing at a rec ball. Mm -hmm. And, uh... What's up, man? (laughs) So he uh, he told me randomly, like I, I literally had left the sport. I think the last event I played was in, I don't know, he was about a year or two years old and I played with Sadistic. I guessed it on a team of theirs at WCPPL, you know, back when, uh, you know, it was still at SC Village. And, um, and so, yeah, we, we played that event and that was the last event I played and I even stopped doing photography which i did for a long time and Mm -hmm. uh, you know so fast forward till he's i think he was about 11 years old and he said dad i want to try playing paintball and you should have seen the grin on my face like it wasn't even forced i didn't do anything i just he wanted to play we started like looking for markers and doing the whole thing and uh (laughs) yeah then we went out and played and and actually with like a, a an og from uh socal john uh i don't know if you know check it john gateway uh paintball gateway john but uh john moved out here to arlington and uh he's done amazing things for the sport in texas just bringing great groups together it's actually how we met toby um mm-hmm. he played with uh john's kind of pickup group for a long time and jacob and he would play together and uh, as soon as i knew i was building the team i was like we got to pick up toby <laughs> so we're pretty excited to have it nice well, what's awesome for you guys, because obviously all you guys are really young, but you know, you're like half our age, right, Dennis? Just they're just half our age. <laughs> yeah, I'm about. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, is that you guys are now living pretty much now in the new Mecca. And if you guys don't know what Mecca is, well, look it up. But you got your phone, smartphones now and you guys get you know look that stuff up. But you're living now in the new Mecca of paintball. Texas is yeah. definitely becoming the, the spot for you guys to play. So you guys have an amazing opportunity out there. So listen to that man, because I'm sure we've played against him. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, did you Do you remember uh, Team Keebler? Oh, yeah. No, we definitely played you guys. Yeah. That's sure we're we're going to see Todd. We're, we're going to see Todd Cousins pop up on here shouting out Keebler right now, because he'll, he'll remember when we played you guys. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was good times back in the day with our jerseys. Everybody knew who we were. Oh, yeah. Ryan. Ryan's so Ryan actually is a uh, uh, you know longtime veteran, uh, good friend, one of my first teammates ever, and he's uh, he helps run Bunker Fest. So he's um, you know one of the people that was out there keeping this event going. It was an amazing event for uh, you know how big it was and everything else. So yeah, I mean. We want to try yeah. to get out to Bunker Fest. Cookies, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was our sponsorship. We got free cookies, guys. We got free guys cookies missed out on that. and paid for gear. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. So, what is the future for you guys? I mean, what do you guys want to do in within paintball? Is it just to just kind of play right now, and you know, or are you guys all looking to want to try to go the distance and go pro? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the. I see a lot of bobbleheads there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Blackhawk, who's your favorite team besides your own? Uh, probably Dynasty. Uh, they like the dragon. All right. You know what? 
Yeah. You can't you can't hate on success. That's true. Well, I mean, I guess you could, but you know. Okay, how about uh Jameson, your team? You're muted uh, there. One. Who? Hornets. The Hornets? There you okay. go. All right. Very cool. Another young guns team out there. All right, Toby. I gotta say gateway. <laughs> gateway. Okay. All right. Evan? I say the Hornets as well, yeah. Okay. Carson. <laughs> Um, probably Infamous or uh, the uh, women's team, Dallas. Oh, Vibe. Oh, it's Vibe. All right. Yeah, that's Very a good choice. Cool. <laughs> yeah, WNXL champs in their first year. Yeah. And cool. Jacob. Uh, mine, will be, have to, mine will have to be Aftermath and Seattle Uprising. All right. All Two right. dark horses. I like it. You're not going for the, the low fruit. 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 I like that. Yeah, he's he's got loyalty. You know, we, we know Mike for we've known Mike for a long time, and uh, he actually let, had Jacob um, pitting for aftermath at the Texas Open last year. That was oh, like his cool. first time really seeing how uh, you know the mechanics work behind the scenes and everything else, and it was a great experience for him. And uh, and then shout out Jimmy Hickey and you know the Seattle Uprising team, which uh, again Finley Hats, great sponsor, an amazing product, and. Uh, Awesome to see, you know, I've known Jimmy since he, to me, he was a kid back then, but, you know, in his early, <laughs> early late teens, early 20s. and um, they're, they're, they're all kids to us, right? right? They were, right? They, they still are, Dennis. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. But now, but now he owns a paintball team. Like, how, right. how cool is that, right? I mean, gotta got to love it. Totally jealous, that's for sure. All yeah. right, guys. <laughs> so we've gotten through all the paintball questions and stuff like that, and normally we are, like, really loose and – we're not ones that like to stick to like, you know, Hey, what's your favorite marker and all that other stuff. So I'm going to just ask you guys, do you guys have a favorite movie? And if it's the Goonies, then you guys are awesome. So, <laughs> all right. I, we'll start with Toby since he was the one that yeah. was head down as we were saying, who likes the Goonies? Toby, what's your favorite movie? I don't got one. What? What? I don't watch movies much. Oh okay. my god! You know what though? This is this is a side effect of COVID. These poor guys have been stuck in their houses for the past two years. You know, it's what I live on though. It's all I. It's just movies and paintball. There's nothing else. All right, Evan, do you got one? Mine would probably have to be the new D and D movie. I just saw it the other day. It's so funny. Oh, oh I want to yeah. see it. I just saw that too. I actually saw that last night. I was hoping to try to get one of those D20 popcorn holders, but they're like, yeah, it's sold out. I was like, I don't want to watch the movie now. Yeah, yeah. we got we got the cups. Oh, the, the tankards? Those are cool. Yeah, I got one of those. All right, uh, Blackhawk, what do you got? Blackhawk down? I don't really have a favorite movie. There's a lot of good movies. Okay, see, that's a good answer. There's too that many is. good ones to pick one. <laughs> I like that. All right. Uh, Jameson. Um, Good. Which, oh, we just lost him. Oh, there he is. No, there he is. You got a favorite Good. movie? No? Yes? Goonies? Good. Good. Oh, I, I can't, I, it was like stopping over on my end. Goonies? You, sir, are the man. All right. These guys are they're men of, of few words and and you know big action. All right, Carson, how about you? Okay, so uh it's either Pacific Rim. Okay. That is that's like super young was watching that, or uh Avatar, like the original Avatar. The original. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, uh, all right, all right. We're, I'm okay. That. You know what? I, I I'm gonna give I'm gonna honestly, Carson. I'm gonna give you props for Pacific Rim because that was low key yeah. pretty good. That it was actually good. really good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of the things with that is whenever I was younger, I stood up on the couch and was like voicing after the movie. Got in trouble for that. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> 
All right, Jacob, what you got? Mine's got to be uh, Star Wars the Attack of the Clones. Yes, Star Wars boy in the house. Uh, all right, all right. I'll give it to you that you like Star Wars, but <laughs> yeah, we're not going to get into the. Don't start. Don't start. Don't Rob start. Back there. He already, he's I agree yes. with you, Gene. Come on now. <laughs> I, I'm slightly disappointed, okay, okay. but also proud that it's Star Wars. <laughs> Sequel trilogy. <sighs> All right, video games. You guys play video games. Obviously, you guys probably video, play video games, right? Do I get all the bobbleheads going? Yes, I do, huh? All right. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got a bobblehead. Oh, my God. Which, what bobblehead is that? I got, I got, my dad has some office bobbleheads. Oh, that's that's oh, awesome. Right that Cameron losing head. his mind over here. <laughs> <laughs> Carson, are you a big Office fan? No, uh, I've we watched the whole season, like the whole show, probably fourteen or fifteen times. Like, oh um, my so. gosh, that is I I absolutely do love that show, and I actually saw something on Instagram, what that somebody did, which they had AI do the whole uh, Office group. As uh, what was it that Cyberpunk 2029 or 20 yeah. whatever it was? It? They did all, yeah. yeah, they did all the characters in that version. It was pretty funny looking. So, and they actually did an intro for it too. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. All right. So, video, what are you guys playing? Like as far as your video games, anybody? Yes, Carson. <laughs> I feel like uh, I'm a teacher now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, right now, I'm playing Valorant a lot, if you know what that is. Mm -hmm. Dennis, uh, what uh, Valorant, Apex, and then probably CSGO. Okay, so so you do a lot of BRs then. B uh, battle Royales. Oh, uh, no. Valorant isn't a Battle Royale, and neither is CSGO. What would you consider Valorant to be then? Valorant's a, uh, Valorant is a PvP, like a... Uh, like a six on six PvP game, I think, or like a first person shooter. No, that's okay. Yeah, that's I feel like a battle that's, that's, royale. It's like a hundred people going into it. Yeah, it, if you guys haven't, if you guys haven't noticed, we are huge nerds too. I mean, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a given in the background. Come on, but it's yeah, also again, our like, all the Star Wars yeah. stuff back there, all the Eugene stuff. Yeah. So okay, Jacob, you had your hand up first before everybody else. What do you got? Uh, Mine's got to be Fortnite, uh, Battlefront 2, and uh, Splatoon. Okay. Okay, you got you got Star Wars in there, so all right, you're all right. We got you. I actually have Splatoon, and that was pretty fun to play. All right, Blackhawk. Uh, Kill it. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, 2023. I'd be watching Stone Mountain, like... Oh, Stone find, Mountain. Like, the best oh, metaguns, the find, like, the best guns. <laughs> Just watching him try to do the same things as him, do 360 no scopes and somehow hit people. <laughs> be amazing. <laughs> All right. Stone Mountain is amazing. Yeah, he's hilarious. He's hilarious. All right, Evan, what you got? I play Red Dead Redemption 2. I got The Last of Us. Okay. And, um, and Bendy and the Ink Machine. All right, oh, we got some retro okay. stuff going there. I like that. I'm actually running through The Last of Us right now again myself. So, oh, yeah, I love that game. It's pretty fun. All right, Toby, what you got? The Besides the cat. Which one? The original Modern Warfare 2. Okay. Original Modern Warfare. That. Okay. Yeah, we're, I'm still running uh, zombies on that. It's always fun every once in a while. So no uh, no no destiny players out there that I could like <laughs> oh, Carson. Run into. Okay, Carson. All right. I actually have a uh, I have the uh, little your hand guy. I had I used to have an action figure of him that was on a stand, but it like fell off of my uh, nightstand so it broke. And like it would talk to you. It was really cool. That sounds creepy though. It probably no. just jumped off. No, it's cool. 
It had like right. voices from the game. Like I used to play all the time with my brother and stuff. Same thing with the uh, Titanfall. All right. Titanfall, sick. Oh yeah, no, I still play Titanfall every now and then, just to, just like for the. Uh, uh, for the nostalgia. It? Yeah, nostalgia. Yeah. All right, Jameson, what you got? Um, probably Call of Duty, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. Okay. All right, all right. We might have to bring you guys on to our other show where we're going to do. We got to do some uh, live streaming with that because our other show is all nerd stuff, and we're going to probably be doing some Modern Warfare stuff. So. So. But yeah, so go ahead, Dennis. In, in, sorry, in that same vein, Robo, um, does uh, do you have access to a, a VR headset? Because they uh, just released the VR paintball. We, we do. We play Snapshot VR, and I okay. can't remember who makes this product, but you guys got to check it out. It literally slides onto the controller, and you screw in your actual tank into it. What? And so when you're playing, you have, like, the weight and the like the, the tactile, like, responsive feel and the weight in actually shooting. It's legit. It's so sick. Like, yeah, I mean, and, and it's just brilliant. Like, you, all it is is it stick. It slides onto the grip. You screw in your tank, and while you're playing in VR, you actually have like that that feel and weight, and you shoulder it, and it's pretty. Oh, cool. that's cool! cool. Seriously, gotta now, look into like that. that. Is that the same one that you can download the field layouts for events? You can, yeah. It's if, really, all right. really cool. All right. Yeah, all we right. Just, I got just got it like recently, and it's like from you know point point of view of someone who's played for a long time. Like that's it's really really good like you know it does it, it's not like virtual paintball which was amazing but you couldn't <laughs> or digital paintball you, you know you couldn't uh you know quite get the same feel and everything but it was always fun this is like actually gives you some training which is kind of cool right. oh, that's pretty sweet man the technology man you i gotta just say all you kids are lucky right. to have what you guys have you know because we had to just use a stick and a rock, and that's how we practice. We had slingshots. <laughs> Serious. And also the fact that you're, you guys should go after this, go to your parents, and seriously thank them because, yeah, this is not a cheap sport. <laughs> well, no, I, I think they're aware of that. I oh, yeah. think they're aware of that. So you guys, yeah, whatever your parents say, go do, go do it, man, because, shoot, they can be all like, yeah, you're done playing paintball. Until you're well, like I, age. I did a little. I did a little bit of Instagram snooping earlier today oh, when uh, Dennis the Creeper, Bomber, huh? I said Dennis the Creeper. Well, no, <laughs> not like that. But I mean, Toby's mom, uh, you know, shared our our story talking about the the guys coming on today, and and um, you know, it, it looks like she definitely has it right. You know, she. <laughs> She makes Toby toe a line, and, uh, you know, he he earned what he's got. But, uh, yeah, I saw you there with your LV 1.1 and flexing in front of the tree. There it is. Oh, there it is. shoot. Look at that thing. Dang. All you guys, I'm jealous. <laughs> Look at those things. So that, that being said, I see a few of you guys got your markers out. So let's go down the line. What are you guys shooting right now? Start from the top. Let's go with Jacob. Jacob, what are you shooting right now? I shoot a Shocker XLS and a HK 170R. Okay. All right. All right. Black Hawk. Uh, what, what, what 170 do you have there? An HK Army 170. HK 170R. Nice. All right, Evan, what about you? I shoot a Geo CS1. A CS1. Very nice. Okay. Carson. Okay. Uh, I'm shooting a uh, Empire Mini GS right now. Very okay. nice. We got we got those. Uh, Mini Empire GS. A GS. All right. Okay. Nice. Toby, what you got? And then got, Toby's got that sick LV one. Oh, right. The LV one. Yeah. See, look at that. Look at that. Even a Lupe pro it now. Right? In, his daughter started out on a Shocker XLS. Nice. Very nice. And and I've got I've got my own amp back here as well. So I definitely know the Shocker brand. Yeah, we've gone through quite a few different markers. I mean, shoot, the first one I had was. You guys wouldn't even know the name of it. 
The Stingray. Rob, <laughs> the Stingray. Brass Eagle Stingray. Google, Google yep. Brass Eagle Stingray. Oh, man. Oh, it, was, it was sick because it was clear. <laughs> oh, no. The one I had, the one I had yeah. was actually the next version, which was all black. So okay, it wasn't clear anymore. <laughs> yeah, but it still sounded like tink, 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 tink. It's like, where's he at? Oh, just listen. Wait for the tink. It's like, oh, there he is. Yep. So you can hear me a mile away. So, yeah, it was great. But it's awesome. Wait, let's see. Uh, did you put that one up? Started with the Spider Elite, which most you, you guys have been fortunate. You guys didn't have to start with the Spider. But some well, of us did. Still there. the, the, There's just better options nowadays. I, did, I, did. Sure. I had a PMI Tracer. That was my first... What? What's wrong with the spider? Nothing's wrong with it. it. It's just there are far better options available for a beginner nowadays than it was back when we were playing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, but, yeah. I mean, it's a classic. You can't get mad about it. I like, have a spider. It's still a classic. It's a classic. Yes. <laughs> That's absolutely true. And for the most part, you can throw those things in the dirt and they'll still work. I got two spiders here, a spider pilot and a spider um, extra victor. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I've got two two spider extras sitting in my garage along with the 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 G, mini GS and I now got a cocker pump that I just put together. So yeah. but all right, guys, I think we're about hitting our time limit. And I know your parents are probably going to be like, are they off yet? We're, we're going to let <laughs> them go. <laughs> yeah, in every now and then. Are you guys done? <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, you know what, guys? It is awesome to actually have you guys on, it, it, you know, to talk about you guys. And, and we are going to definitely be looking out for you guys, watching you guys. So just know that we see everything and we know everything. So, yeah. <laughs> Especially now that we have Rob's number. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, Rob, how are they doing? They're doing great? Good. But you guys are definitely going to be we, – we, every time we bring on a team and we talk to them, and we, we like you guys. I like Jameson because he likes the Goonies a lot. You know, and all – you guys all – please tell me you guys all like Star Wars. Do we get the bubble? All right. Okay. We got some okay. thumbs up there. <laughs> I have the uh, classic set, the Blu-ray set in my room right now. Oh, dude. I have a set of them, too. Yes. You guys are just getting cooler and cooler. Man. Love well, if you guys want to... Well, actually, our, our shows are too late for them. But follow our other show, too. You'll see. You'll hear all our geek talk there. But, guys, it was really cool to have you guys on. Honestly, have you guys on. And we definitely want to say that you guys are now part of the Behind the Mask family as far as our corral team. Because we don't, we don't have a Young Guns team, do we? Uh, the Hermans. Oh, the Hermans. Yeah, we got the Hermans, which are over here in Kelly. And then uh, we got now you guys, the Goonies yeah. from Texas. So we're and, definitely going to be yeah. watching out for you guys. Absolutely. So, and, and you guys are a good company. You know, the the, the Levas are, are, you know, Lupe and his family are good friends of ours, as well as, uh, you know, Texas Cyclones, who, you know, congratulations on them for starting their semi-pro uh, season this year. Um, AC kids is another one that, uh, that were kind of, you know, that, that we're putting our rally behind. So you guys have, you know, you've got some good teams out there and you've got good company out there. So keep it up. We so really, us, yeah. Oh, definitely. And really quick guys. I want to do this for you guys. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we are going to let you guys go. And we are definitely, like I said, we're going to be watching out for you guys. And it was really cool talking to you guys. We're looking forward to having you guys back again after, you know, the next event, if we can do that too. All right, guys? Sounds good. So Thanks we're going to let you guys off. Robbo, let's uh, talk a little bit later. I definitely would love to have you back on to talk more about, you know, the old days. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, it's nice to have somebody that's, from our days. Yeah, that, that, that remembers what Seven Man was truly like. 
Remembers 15 balls a second. Remembers yeah. un un uncapped semi. Uncapped semi. Uncapped yes. semi. Uh, yeah, sounds good, boys. Look forward to it. All right, guys. We will definitely be talking to you guys later, and I'm going to be letting you guys go now. So you guys all have a good night. Thank your parents again for letting you guys stay up a little late with us. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys soon. Sounds Thank good. you. Again, boys. Bye. Have a great night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Sweet. Man, what, a, what a great group of kids, man. Yeah, they're good kids, man. Oh, dude. We gotta do this again. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I. It took me a little while to find the song, but I was like, dude, I gotta put the song on for them. But yeah, it was it was great having them on. I mean, great group of kids. Looking forward to talking to Robo more about the team, and also just seeing what they do this year at, at Bunker Fest. You know, we get, we got a team now in Bunker Fest. And yes, Lupe, um, and AC kids too. We haven't forgotten about them. Yeah, I shouted them out. Yeah, but man, we were like fourteen strong tonight. I was really excited. We had a bunch of people watching us. Which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean but again, we're we're talking about a you know a faction of the sport, a, a group within the sport that a is growing very quickly, as we've seen with you know the the onset of having the the youth division at World Cup, as well as you know the numerous young guns teams that have been popping up in that time. Um, yeah. You know, it, it's really nice to see them getting more and more. Uh, exposure and getting a lot more support. Yeah. Because this really is the future of our sport. They they are. And it, it's back when like you and me first started out, and even I would say Robo, when we were all playing, we didn't have that. There wasn't there wasn't the young guns. There they were starting to kind of bring out young guns, but they were still like 15, 16, you know, 13 to 15 year olds, not yeah. like you know what we've got now from eleven to fifteen. So and yeah. that, youth, youth was was a sellout at Bunker Fest. Sellout at Bunker Fest, yeah. There were there were youth teams that unfortunately didn't they didn't get their their payment in in time. So I would honestly expect to see the youth division be even bigger, uh, you know, at the next event, or maybe not bigger, but see some other teams that didn't, you know, they weren't able to get their uh, their entry in in time. Yeah, and if Rob, Rob, if you're still on, if you're you're listening to us a little bit more. Get us a, that video of uh, Black Dude. That is such Blackhawk. I know. Logan, it's a good name. Lo hey, Logan Blackhawk. How cool is that name? It, it reminds me of Rob Youngblood. Oh yeah, but he uh, also had that. He's got that Thomas Taylor going, and and he's a snake. Right? Dude, what is going on with our team tonight? I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea, but. But guys, it, I mean, it was really awesome to have them on, and I'm really excited to get. We we asked them for a jersey, so they said they would. We're going to get ourselves our own Goonies jersey. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, um, dude, those those things are sick. But, they are so good. Yeah. But with that, let's do a quick commercial, and then we're going to get into the last half of our show, which we'll be talking about our uh, well, I mean, tourney talk. But hmm, I'm not going to do a long commercial break. This is just going to be a quick one. So. And of course, we are back from our wonderful break. And if you guys want awesome stickers that are 
from the eighties timeline and we're going to start moving into, they're going to move into uh, the nineties movie soon, but feeling for some great stickers and t-shirts and sweatshirts are going to be coming soon. Uh, definitely go and check out riot collectibles and see what they've got. Uh, also, of course, like earlier I was mentioning, go check them out. It's dude. Honestly, their flavors are amazing and for those of you guys that are out there that are old like us they won't give you the bubble guts so there you go That's right <laughs> just don't drink the sweetest fish oh god um, no. or the mango I, I the mango so oh no the mango's bad 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 yeah but don't, so don't drink the fish either <laughs> all right now we're gonna move into All right, guys. Look, even a new layout for this. This Ooh. is, yeah, we're we're getting all. They they just so shout out to Streamyard, which is uh, what we use, and they've now updated everything, and they can um, you can actually do custom layouts. So it's no longer just what they used to have. Now we can actually move our faces all over the place and what our media is, which is really cool. So starting out with our with n with the NXL. They've got their next event coming up, and they wanted to shout that. I want to shout that out because look, they've already put up their pro draw for the Lone Star Major that's coming yeah. up in uh, May. Correct? I think. It's uh, yes. 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 <laughs> it's like yes, but the layout is or the pro draw is laid out there, and uh, they put that up so. I thought, you know what? Why not put that out there? Look at that. Look who it is. Who's lining up with who? Let's well, make, make that bigger so you can see. So, I mean, there's so much, like, there's so much speculation as to like how this event is going to play. You know, there's a lot of teams, obviously, that we talked about in uh, previous episodes that we really thought coming out the gate were going to be just like you know, monsters that were going to steamroll and that didn't quite happen. Um, but again, it's early in the season. So we'll have to see how, you know, uh, diesel shakes out. We'll have to see whether or not, uh, you know, extreme or damage can, uh, you know, improve on their, their standing from this last event, but everybody, you know, I'd say from the top down, well, I should say from second on down because, Let's face it, Dynasty didn't really surprise anybody. Um, but, uh, you know, I, f I felt like it was a nice mix of, uh, you know, back and forth. And um, you know, I, I'm going to be real curious to see how this next event shakes out in terms of the pro ranks, especially. But, you know, I have my eye personally on um, not only semi-pro, but I want to see, uh, you know, I want to see more Destiny wins. I'm sure, you know, Lupe probably does too. <laughs> I know B does. Definitely. I mean, the women's league definitely is something we are, obviously, we're going to be watching out for. But also, uh, the, like you said, we're going to be starting to watch a lot more of the uh, semi-pro because of Cyclones are going to be there. Yes. So we're watching that as far as NXL. And then, like like you said, with, with the, pro, the pros – we didn't see what we thought was going to happen in the first event. Um, but Dynasty still doing what they do best, which is... Uh, oh, you know, what? Coming out strong. Yeah, remember, Dennis? They're, they're not doing anything until... Um, right. right, Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. Right. Gosh, dang it. So, so yeah, that, the girls are on hold until then. But uh, is Luba, is Haley going to be... Guesting again on any teams for the next Bunker Fest? Because that's before NXL. So, but yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah. So here's the layout. And then, of course, shoot the best paint reserved now. So they're saying, you know, it's time now to reserve your paint with the NXL for Lone Star if you guys are looking to do that. And that is, again, that's now opened up. That was the only thing that I saw. Well, that's the that's the the ad for uh, you know, GI. So that's like yeah, you know, GI. Uh, 
Uh, so that was the only thing that I honestly that was the only thing that I could find as far as any news when it comes to the NX Alpha right now. Yeah, I mean uh, we're we're in between events. I think the teams are you know kind of reflecting on how um, you know how their their uh, you know matches played out in the first event, what they need to work on, you know their strengths, weaknesses, things like that. I don't expect to see any any major moves right now because you know some of these guys still needed time to gel um you know i i feel like we're still going to see more from the iron man i feel like we're going to see more from diesel um you know again extreme and damage both came out strong in that first event so i expect to see them playing you know very well um you know yeah again it doesn't surprise me that right now it's been kind of quiet because again looking back on how uh, you know, the first event of the season went and uh, kind of, you know, going from there, working on, uh, you know, what lapses they need to to fix. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, let's just sit back and wait till the end of the month. And that's when the Lone Star Major is going to be coming around. So, it, and like, well, Lupe said, uh, Haley's going to be playing with AC Kids at Bunkfest and at NXL Texas. So she doesn't get a long layoff. She will be a... We'll be seeing her on other teams at the end of the month. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So. All right. And then the next thing that we got coming up, WCPPL, West Coast Paintball, which is more local for us, which is over here. Uh, their first or their event is coming up. I think they already had their first event, but their next event is going to be in May. Yeah. May yeah, 19th to the 23rd. So, looking forward to that West Coast Classic at ASG Paint Ballpark, which we've been there a couple times now for a couple events. Last was uh, Lin Trong's uh, charity event, which was a lot yep. of fun. Cold as hell, but that's yep. because... <laughs> God, it was so cold. <laughs> it was so oh, miserable. Oh. <laughs> Nothing against the park at all. It was just... We came, oh, it was, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was raining and miserable and cold and just, oh, it was so bad. It hurt. It hurt yeah. a lot. Yeah. But if you, if you guys so, are looking for. Do you still have that picture that was taken of us freezing our butts off? I do somewhere on my phone. I'd have to search for it. But yeah, if I'll put the post, uh, picture up onto our Instagram, but you can see that we were miserable just it flat was, out miserable yeah it was but, not it was not uh, it was not good yeah but again but nothing guys, that it, nothing ASG could really do about that so exactly but if you guys are looking for an event to go to this is definitely a good one to go to uh the prices are actually not bad at all i mean no. they've got good prices on their the entry fees they've got a lot of teams that do come out and they run a really good uh, event. So if you guys are looking for something that's more local to the West Coast, if you're over here in SoCal, Cal Central, California, Northern, Arizona, all these local states close by this, come on down to ASG to check that out. So start going on to their Facebook, go on to their Instagram, which I was a little confused. I got a little confused with their Instagram because I had seen two ASG, or not ASGs, uh, WCPPL. One was an old one too. I don't know who runs that one, but I had to go to this. So, so I, I'm actually looking at so the WC PPL paintball account last yeah. posted six weeks ago. No, I take that back. <laughs> like six years ago. So yeah. it could be the other one. Sorry. Somebody commented on it six weeks ago. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I was. I looked at that and I was like, "Wait a minute, this is not right." So I went back on because so, I, no. I was like, "Man, I know I." Huh? I was gonna say it's the it's the other one. It's the play WCPPL. That's the that's the actual that's the current account. Yeah. So if you guys are looking for information from that or about the event, go to play WCPPL on Instagram, and then they'll also direct you to their Facebook, which has even more information about the event. And uh, yeah, definitely, I. I'd like to try to get out to that event 
to play if that's a possibility. They got a three man. We can. Um, I think they're doing a three man division. Yeah, might, yeah, we'll see what happens. Because we want to get definitely want to get out to play and do some uh, smaller local tournaments as far as we play, but we definitely want to get out to the bigger events to get our faces out there and that's talk right. to you guys out there. So as far as tourney talk, I mean, that's really all that's going on. Cause like Dennis said, right now, all the teams are kind of doing a uh, let's rethink this whole thing as we're getting ready for the next event. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it's a lot of evaluation and, you know, watching game tape and stuff like that and uh, making improvements where necessary. Yeah. So, and then of then with WCPPL, I know that they're doing, uh, they're starting to do live stream stuff. So check them out there. You can find a lot of their videos on YouTube also. And I definitely look up WCPPL for that or the West Coast Paintball Players League. It's always such a mouthful when it comes to stuff. These names, man. Ugh, it's a killer at times. But check them out. And then also, like I said, check out uh, the NXL. I want to try to get a hold of Jeff, and then we'll have a a, a face off. <laughs> <laughs> but to find out how Bunker Fest would, uh, those of you guys that were on earlier listening to uh, the Goonies, they had a good time there. Regardless of you know, the, it was a learning experience for them, so that was awesome. And oh yeah, absolutely. So we want to definitely find out how the first bunker fest went which i have no doubt that it went amazing because these both chris and jeff run a pretty pretty tight ship with all their stuff and that's what they said they were going to do for this this one so yeah yeah i mean it did i already saw you know um chris had posted up on their facebook i believe um just talking a little bit about uh, player feedback um, what could they do next time that they feel like, you know, needed to be improved on, um, you know, was there something missing that, you know, they felt that the players could use or, or what have you. And I mean, it was nothing but, you know, uh, um, it was nothing but, but positive feedback and constructive criticism, you know, where needed because, they didn't have um, they didn't really have any major breakdowns outside of there were some struggles with one of the air stations uh, toward the end of the day on Sunday. And then that caused a little bit of a backup, which caused them to, you know, they had to kind of move things around a little bit. And I also saw some people were mentioning that one of the vendors had a generator that was literally right outside the net on one of the fields. So the players on the field couldn't hear the, they couldn't hear the buzzer for the, the match to start and things like that. But, uh, you know, the vendor owned up to it. They said, you know what, that's our fault. We're not doing that again. We'll, you know, we'll figure out something better. Um, so, yeah, I mean, overall, nothing but uh, nothing but a success. And, and as Lupe said, you know, it was amazing and it gets better each time. So I have no doubt that, uh, you know, the next event's going to be that much more, you know, enjoyable for everybody. Well, I mean, it's because it's run by veterans. We learn from everything, adapt, overcome, conquer. So no doubt, no doubt that those guys are going to continue to do that. Chris was even picking up track. The weather was great. Yeah. I mean. Well, you say the weather was great, but I saw the first day that there were some like two inch deep puddles on some of the fields. <laughs> But that's still fun, you know. You get you get those cool action shots of the guys diving, and you know you get the big splash. But that's yeah. not really a bunker fest thing. That was a giant party sports thing. So didn't fill in those holes before the event, which. Uh, but I did reach out to one of the teams that won actually, uh, the first place team, to see if they'd want to come onto the show to talk about their experience but have not exactly heard back from them but that's okay if you guys are another team that's out there that has um played the event and would like to come on and talk about the event by all means hit us up we would love to hear from you oh, it was what 
It was awesome by Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. I mean, it looked like it looked like it just it came through, dumped on you guys and then moved on. And the rest of the weekend was uh, was beautiful. So. All right, guys. Sorry. I'm looking down at stuff, making sure I caught everything. All right. So. All right, guys. Well, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it for uh, this. Uh, this. Uh, this edition Yes. Uh, All right. Oh, I forgot to take this down. There we go. I gotta get yes. this in. So I saw the video of her talking about that, Lupe. That was I, I wish I wish the the video that accompanied it of her actually pulling the four pack would have been great. But I saw her talking about it. She Eugene, she ran through the car wash. And got a oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> dude. When I saw that car wash go up on Instagram, I was like, "What? They're bringing back the car wash?" Yeah. Look at you. Got to definitely send us that video. We would love. Oh, we would love to. It. Yeah, see that thing. But, dude, I, I was like, "Oh man, I." I that just that brought back a lot of memories. Just seeing that thing go so up there, I was like, oh, God. so many memories. You notice that we've actually kept this episode pretty clean. I think it's because we have the kids on. Yeah. Now the kids yeah. are off and yeah. in bed. So there was this problem I had with my colon, and I mean we're down to three people. So what? <laughs> what does it matter? Rebellion. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh um, man, I'm telling you, I actually had kind of like withdrawals not doing the show last week while I was inside of the barracks. I was like, dude, I'm literally sitting here doing nothing. I could have been doing the show, even if it was from the barracks. Um, because seeing how now my rank comes with some privileges, uh, I had my own room. I mean, well, I, I was sharing it with two other sergeants, but the fact is it was our room, I closed door, and nobody was gonna would have bothered me. So I could have yeah. done the show. But it's all right. It's all right. We're back. Sorry, I, I I was in the ER anyway, so that's true. So it's all right. But we're back. Yes, we are back. And uh, you know, and we could I could do this again too. Where is it at? Um oh there it is. I'll be your hero, Dennis. Yes, guys. This is what we do on our show. <laughs> oh, it's going bad already. <laughs> but at least we waited until one hour. Oh. That's true. That's true. This is definitely true. So, but... You know what, guys? You know what we got to do? We got to sell some cookies. We definitely got to sell some cookies. Right, Dennis? Oh. Some... But really quick, guys. You gave me a cookie, I gave you a cookie. <laughs> you gave me a cookie, gave you a cookie. You gave me a cookie, got you a cookie. You gave me a cookie, I got you a cookie, man. You gave me a cookie, got you a cookie. We're even. We're even, Schmidt. Definitely, guys. If you guys want to help support us, support a Dennis, support a Eugene in your local area. By all means, buy him a cookie. I mean, you guys can go on to our Instagram. It's in our link tree. So our Instagram is behind the mass media. At the top of our link tree stuff, it says buy us a cookie. So buy us a cookie if you want to help support us, get us out to events, uh, to make some more shirts, which. Oh. Oh. Look at that. That is the sound of t-shirts inside of a bag. Those are your t-shirts, man. 
I sealed it up before I can put the other shirts in there, so it's going to be another package like this. Let's <laughs> that out to you. But we got shirts coming out. Uh, so buying us a cookie helps us to get out to events, helps us to make more merchandise so we can sell out to sell or give out. We like to give out things. Yeah, look at there. Look at that. Did you see that? Yeah, it's going to get out soon. I promise. Oh, I shouldn't promise. But it will. So go on to Linktree. It'll have a link to it. You can buy us as many cookies as you want. Our biggest contributor right now, biggest contributor, is the one, the only, Buckaroo Bonsai. Buckaroo. Buck is the man. We always put him up because he, he's the biggest contributor, and we love him. Definitely That's do. Right. So be a Buckaroo and buy us a cookie. So, Sorry, yeah. everybody needs to see Buckaroo. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen Buckaroo, then wow. I don't know what to tell you guys. But all right, guys. Well, I guess we're gonna wrap it up. I mean, we went through our tourney talk. Not much going on this week. Uh, we'll try to get some more people on next week. I think that's pretty much it, man. That's Dude, I gotta shave. I think so. All right, gentlemen, ladies, if, you, if they're, you know, any out there watching this, it's been great. Glad you guys are, whether you're on right now with us, which we have four people, and I don't, I know Loop is one of them. I don't know who the rest yeah. are. Who are the rest? Uh, Give us a shout. Really uh, quick. Every time I do that, we lose people. I'm like, hey, <laughs> just say hi. And they're like, nope, nope, nope. I'm like, all right, we got Lupe still, which we love Lupe. We love you, man. Which, speaking of which... Um, oh, yeah, how did that go? I did not watch it. I gotta look that up. I didn't see the entire seminar. I only saw the brief video that... Um, is his name Jeff? The the professor running the course um, posted up a, a short video, but I didn't see the whole thing. And I, I have to say that I didn't get a chance to see it because I was stuck um out at training so i haven't had a chance to watch it but i do want to watch it and i will watch it uh lupa how yeah. you do thank you sorry poor guy i i'm sure she did amazing i did see some uh instagram posts that you put up of her out on the field helping people out so that was really cool standing room only plus 60 plus people in the classroom that's really cool that's very cool. <clears throat> I saw the I saw some of the stuff out on the field itself, and that was um, that was pretty cool. B was out there as well, so she was helping to kind of you know work with the students out on the field. But you know, I saw Haley going over you know snap shooting and you know talking about um, positioning over the body when you you know when you're popping out and stuff like that. It's, it looked like it went over really really well, so. That's great to hear. I mean, it, I said it before too. You know, anybody higher up, whether it's you know one of the sponsors or you know even outside of that, um, it was a perfect opportunity to you know market a to not only market the sport but market the um, you know market their products as well. So yeah, definitely. Or, I mean, that could have been that could have been a huge. That could have been definitely a huge thing for, you know, like JT if they should have jumped in on that. So amazing program for paintball classes are taught between two professors. That's awesome. Yeah, that that's, that's incredible. And they, they have a dedicated field that they can go to as well. So it's not like they're just, oh, well, you know, we've got to try and, and book a private group at, you know, fit or whatever. You know, I mean, they have it. A, a field that they can go to to actually run their on-field classes and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. I wish we had something like that here. That would be... <laughs> Seriously, if we did, I would have went to that college. I'd been like, oh, yeah, sign me up. Yeah. Oh, well, no, maybe we would have went back and started teaching it. <laughs> well, I'd be down for that, too. Shoot. By all means. But, seriously, who else is on here, guys? Just, just say hello. I don't want to. I mean, we don't need to get into a whole conversation with you guys. Just say hi. I feel, you know. 
Well, if, 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 if Mike might be watching because he's, you know, he works and listens at the same time. That's so true. If he's watching, Mike, love you, my friend. I, I'm unfortunately smoke got a really bad draw. I have to send you the, I have to send you the the picture of their schedule, Eugene. Uh-huh. They they drew infamous. They drew New York extreme. They drew <laughs> adrenaline. <laughs> Man, those they gave them the crappiest lineup. They gave them the crappiest schedule. And Mike goes, I think they mixed up the smoke pro line with our line because they gave them like so many matches. And and I mean. New York Extreme went out to ICPL Tennessee with their full NXL roster. Infamous. Oh yeah. And that includes that includes Rich. Rich played. Oh, really? Yeah, he played. Because it's 10 yeah. man. Yeah. So he played. Um, and then, uh, of course, Infamous went out with almost their full NXL roster. Um, it, yeah. Dang, that's funny. Send out press releases. See. All right. Rant time. If anybody is watching this and you have the ear of somebody over at the NXL or WNXL, smack them. Because this was a wasted opportunity for them to be able to promote. Mm -hmm. Even if it's the NXL, WNXL. Horribly horribly like mismanaged opportunity Seriously. It's so ridiculous. and just... what kills me the most about it is we've said things like this before this is a perfect opportunity for them to get outside sponsorship outside influence get eyes outside of the industry onto the sport of paintball and they completely blew the opportunity it's a shame it doesn't surprise me that Jeff and Chris were, were, you know, saying something about it because I know that they've not only got the sports back, they've got, you know, Haley's back and they want to, they want to be able to promote what's, you know, the positive thing for, for paintball. Yeah. Definitely. So that's, but it, sorry. No, it, it's, it's true. I mean, you and me have talked about it. We it was kind of like we knew that that was going to be what it was going to be, and this is what has constantly plagued, I would say, the sport. Is these guys just look? They pissed away an opportunity. Literally, just yep. I'll say it that way. They just pissed it away. You know, they and did. it's stupid. They it's absolutely stupid because think of what that could have done if you, especially if you were promoting this on the NXL website the wnxl website just whatever that's and and do you really think the was it what was it called the major league paintball is going to go anywhere no it ain't going to go anywhere dude it'll go as far well, as t-shirts not not if this is the kind of thing that they're going to do yeah no you know, if they're going to do stuff like this where, where they're pissing away opportunities then yeah. yeah, it's gonna go as far as just you got you made some janky looking t shirts. That's it. So all right, we're gonna get off our soapbox because yeah. might uh <laughs> we're, we're probably... gonna be stuck there forever. <laughs> but you know what? Good for you, Jeff and Chris. Keep it up, man. We love you guys because you guys are truly looking out for the players and the sport, and you guys want to see it grow. So uh, anyways, all right. Enough of that. Enough of us. I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing our faces by this point. But, all right, guys. So, we are going to close this thing out. We are at about an hour 20, which, yeah, it's about average for us. But anyways, to let you guys know, the best way to get a hold of us is on any of our social medias, which we've got Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, uh, TikTok, what's another Instagram, uh, you know, Feet Finder, uh, OnlyFans, um, 
I mean, you know, I don't know what other ones are out there, but anyways, you can get us at Behind the Mask Media on all of those. And also, if you want to send us free gear, please, by all means, we're, we, we would love it. But we would also promote it. And maybe, just maybe, give it away. Just maybe, I'm yeah. just saying. Just maybe. No guarantees, but just maybe. But we will review your gear and, of course, you know, put up the videos on our Instagram, on our YouTube, on our Facebook, and even up on here as part of our gear review because we haven't had any gear reviews in a while because we have no new gear because we pole. Yeah. We're so, so pole we came in for the R. <laughs> well, that would make it a <laughs> so then we're just full of poo. <laughs> but <laughs> you guys can reach us at all those places. Um, you definitely the best way to get us is on Instagram. DM us at first, and then we'll probably direct you to our email address, which is obviously behind the mask media at gmail.com. But we do answer back to any stuff that's posted up there and talk to you guys and stuff like that because we do want to get to know you guys out there and, uh, we'll, you know, why not? So we're all about the players and the sport. So, yes, bias cookies, Instagram, all that stuff. Okay, we got that out of the way. So get out there, play some paintball, drop your money on those counters of those local stores because the way you're going to grow the sport is to literally buy the gear because then that means that they're going to make more stuff more stores and all that other stuff go to local fields drop your money onto their their counters also go out there and play some paintball i mean today we had some amazing kids on talking about how they've only been playing for what 10 months 10 months, months. <laughs> yeah a few months one that been doing it for four years and then one that was basically just born into it but you know what do you expect <laughs> if he's born into it he's gonna play so yeah, I mean, that's our future right there. Us old guys, we're slowing down. We're playing 10-man. And even then, <laughs> that's a stretch. Yeah, even that's but, a stretch. But definitely get out there. Let's grow this sport. Let's turn this into a legitimate sport and not just something that we play on the weekends. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think I've spoken my piece, Dennis. Have you? I believe so. I think you summed it up pretty well. All right. Cool. All right, guys. Well, come back next week. Same BTM time, same BTM channel, same BTM faces. Yes. <laughs> as, as you look at our face, like. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not going to, you're not going to say it, huh? What? How do we, how do you end every show? Oh, I'm going to say it. I'm going to end it. Oh, I was just I saying. Thought ready, I thought you were getting ready to cut it, right? <laughs> oh, no, no. No, no, no. I got a reputation to hold up. I got a rep, Holmes. There you go. I got, I got things to say. And I got a new tagline. So when people want to come up to me and they're like, dude, do that tagline. I will do that for you. Even though nobody will ask me. <laughs> Nobody's going to ask for my picture. You need to get Dan Gonzo on tell you about his program i by all means send him our way lupe we will you know we'll talk about we'll talk to him absolutely we would, we would love to hear about that because i mean shoot man paintball in college heck yeah so if you got his his info send it our way we will talk to him or we'll even look him up but all right guys this one was uh no poop talk this time around. I'm sorry, Lupe. I'm sure you are looking forward to it. But if you do want to hear more about this stuff that's behind me, all the nerd stuff, you can definitely catch me and Dennis on Wednesday at 7.30 Pacific Standard Time live streaming talking about nerd stuff, and it's called The Midweek Geek. It is part of the Geek Saga podcast. It falls under the umbrella, which is a show that is on comiccon-radio.com and you can find all that nerd stuff over there which is great we have a lot of fun doing it we're not as angry on that show because we're talking about this stuff because when we're talking about this stuff we do get angry like we almost got onto a full rant about how the nxl just pissed away an opportunity but whatever 
So, Lupe, we look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. And then we'll get more into poop talk because I think that's... Actually, you know what? I'll give you a story real quick. To go to show, to show you guys how close soldiers get with each other. Um, uh. Yeah, we were out there for 10 days. And it's um, MPs have a mixture of both female and male groups. And one of my soldiers, I asked in the morning, I was like, hey, so how's it going? Which was a female. Um, she's all like, well, I was constipated yesterday. Now I'm not because I took laxatives. And now I can't stop. I was like, okay. <laughs> I wasn't asking about that. I was just asking, hey, so how are you feeling today? <laughs> or, you know, you could have just been like, I'm all right. Instead, you wanted to give me your bowel movements. So every time, and I'm sure by the end of the day, I was embarrassing her, which I didn't care. Um, Asking you know, her how's it how's it coming out? Solid? Not solid yet. So yeah, that's how close soldiers get when we're stuck out in those places, and it doesn't matter your gender. We do talk about poop because <sighs> everybody poops. That's so. true. And we haven't lost. Well, actually, we had one extra viewer, and then we lost him. Poop talk doesn't get rid of viewers. Yeah, it submarined it real quick. <laughs> Submarine. So there you go, Lupe. Poop talk for the night. It's done. Didn't want to disappoint you tonight. So. <sighs> All right. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm going to take us home. Let's round this out. So, as I always say, if you can shoot, you can move, then you can play. Thank you.